Hi everybody, it's Dr. Marina Pico from Cheers Clavet and Podly.com. This is a TNR kitty, so every once in a while we do a TNR kitty. These are cats who have been out in the community. They get trapped, they get ear tipped, we spay, neuter, we vaccinate, and then they go back out in the community. This is a kitty who's actually very, very nice, but he has been um, very snotty and sort of has this chronic snoring sound. He's been on three different antibiotics and he still is snotty. So for these guys, which is typically a young cat who's got persistent upper respiratory signs, um, usually persistent nasal discharge, and they still sound like they're snoring. So he's been, that's sort of what he sounds like persistently. Um, so we put him under anesthesia and then we just took a look in the back of his mouth and we're gonna show you what that looks like. He has got an oropharyngeal nasal polyp. So when you look at him in the back, there's his, he's, ha he's had chronic trouble breathing. Um, so this is his hard palate, this is his soft palate, and then we use what's called a spay hook, and we grab b behind the soft palate, and there is his, oral, his nasal polyp. So I'm going to have Laura see if she can hold that for me. And we're going to grab it. Sometimes you've got to intubate these guys, so if he keeps coughing, I'm going to put a tube down his throat and intubate him. But he. So you grab the polyp and you pull, and that's what it is. So that has been blocking his ability to breathe. This big giant polyp in the back of his throat. So now when you look down his throat, it looks normal, so we'll pull his soft palate up. It's going to bleed a little bit, but now there's nothing back behind there. Actually, there might. Yep, yeah, he's empty. All right, so now he's going to go in anesthesia. <clears throat> If your cat has chronic upper respiratory sounds, um, so it sounds like they're snoring all the time, and you can't seem to get rid of it, um, talk to your veterinarian about looking for a polyp, and it should be just that easy. You know, we always like to discuss the cost of things here. Really, this is the cost of anesthesia, and it makes a big, giant difference in them. So about here, it's about $100, $150, and it will make all the differences in his ability to breathe. If you have any questions, you can find me anytime here at Jairsclavet or Pobbly.com. Take good care of your kitties. Bye.